So let's consider decibels and understand why the 3 dB point is so important. Uh, we start by thinking of a, a relationship, a linear relationship. If you had an input X and an output Y, uh, if they were related by this, where the output exactly equals the input, you could plot this on an XY curve, and of course you get a straight line at 45 degrees. What if you had a different relationship where the relationship was a power, like an order of magnitude diff relationship between the input and the output? Well, if we plot this, then you get a function in the y which goes up very, very quickly. And you're quickly off the scale of your plot. So it's hard to plot that and get any meaningful information from it. So often people will plot on the vertical, they'll plot log to the base 10 of y because that equals log to the base 10, 10 to the x, that equals x. So if you plotted log to the base 10 of y on the vertical, then you would have a linear relationship in your plot. And so you'll be able to get more information on your plot. So that's one interesting use of a log function. Another one is when you have ratios. And so often in many engineering systems, but let's take electrical systems, we're interested in the gain. So let's say the voltage out divided by the voltage in. We want to know something about that relationship. Well, again, this relationship often has this kind of power type uh, expression. And so it's very common to look at the log of that function. Okay, now if you take the log of that function like this, this is in the unit of a bell. Okay, and this is named after Alexander Graham Bell. Now it turns out that this uh, ratio, these numbers turn out to be a little bit small and so more often than not uh, people want to look at 10 times that number and in that case you multiply the value by 10 means you reduce the unit size and so if you multiply by 10 instead we call this decibel so it's one tenth of a bell and that's the db and so you know why is this interesting and useful and where does this 3 db come about well, let's just notice, if you were uh, doing something to your circuit where you doubled the output voltage for the same input voltage, then how would that relate to this? Let's say this is your gain in decibel. Uh, and then if we doubled that, what do we get? We got 10 log to the base 10 of 2 V out divided by V in. And we know that log of A times B equals log of A plus log of B. So this equals 10 log to the base 10 of V out divided by V in plus 10 log to the base 10 of 2. Okay, so this is log of A times B equals log of A plus log of B. And this number, if you plug it into a calculator, you find equals 3.0103. And so this is what we call 3 dB. And this, of course, is just gain dB, our original gain. So if we double the gain, then in decibels, we are adding 3 dB to the gain. So when you multiply in the real numbers, uh, when you look in the decibels, you are adding. So multiplications become additions. And so this is very interesting. You double the gain and you add 3 dB. And often we're looking about what we could do to make that kind of a change in a system. Another way that 3 dB comes into it is if you're looking at halving things. And often this comes in the frequency example. So I'll do that example here. You've probably seen plots of a band limited system or a low pass system with a frequency response looking like this, flat. Uh, across the low pass and then there's a roll off and people are interested in where what point this is never exactly square with a with a with a sharp cutoff uh, of, of, of straight down uh, because that's not physically realizable so they'll always have a roll off and then we characterize this often by what we call the 3 dB bandwidth and what does that mean it's often a little bit confusing, and this is where I think the confusion comes in, because this, although it's, uh, it's drawn this way, 
it's, or it is drawn this way because the vertical is a log plot. It's not always labelled that way, but that's what the vertical is. And so the 3dB point here, uh, let's examine what that height would be. Well, this is 3dB down from the maximum. So if this was our gain, g0 at the top, uh, then this is g0 minus 3dB. Okay, and g0 minus 3dB uh, is, if we look at uh, the what we've got here, we've got 10. If we had log, I'll just uh, do it in reverse. So we've got v out divided by v in. If we multiply that by a half, then this equals uh, our the I'll, I'll do it all out in longhand log to the base 10 v out on v in and if you're multiplying by a half then you're uh, in subtracting 10 log to the base 10 of 2 uh, because it's uh, multiplied by a half is the power comes down the front the negative power so this is 2 to the power minus 1 the negative 1 comes out in front and so this is minus 3 dB so if you have halved the gain, then you have reduced the gain by 3 dB in the decibel. So this is gain in decibels, uh, and then we've halved, halved the actual amplitude of the gain, but that means we've gone down in decibels by minus 3 dB. So if you're doubling gain in decibels, you are increasing by 3 dB. If you are halving the gain in decibels, you are reducing by 3 dB. And of course, this uh, follows. You can put the numbers in here for if you went by down by a quarter or up by four times, then you've got 6 dB, positive or negative. It's often confusing because this is drawn here not at the halfway point. Uh, and so people, uh, if they're thinking half the power, you'd think halfway down. But that's if you're thinking linear in the plot. And of course, as engineers and with dB, it's important uh, if it's plotted as a dB, it's important to recognize that half the way down is not a linear half because it's a log plot. And one other final thing is that if you don't have a ratio, you have another parameter called dBm. And you often see this around. So what is that? Well, that is the decibel of your value related to one millivolt if it's a voltage. So this is log to the base 10 of the value that you're interested in, the voltage of interest, divided by one millivolt. So uh, this is a value in dBm. Okay, so this would be, we would call this V0 in dBm, is V0 relative to one millivolt, and then we take the decibel, the 10 log to the base 10. And that's what V, that's what dBm is. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos and, uh, and click the links for other videos.